Hi everyone, welcome to the session where we are going to talk about how to become data analyst at LinkedIn. So if you are interested in becoming data analyst at such an esteemed organization, then this video is for you. Today we have Saurav Kangu with us who is currently working as data analyst manager at LinkedIn and he has completed his executive postgraduate diploma in international business from IIFT. So coach, we are very much delighted to have you over here and over to you for this enriching session. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Saurabh. I'll be taking you through my journey uh, in the field of analytics. Uh, so <clears throat> the first thing that you would all like to know is how did I find opportunity at LinkedIn? Uh, so basically it was uh, not a one, uh, one shot thing. You know, I had gone through a lot of grinding uh, before I could even reach to an extreme organization like LinkedIn. So I started off my career with a company called as New Sigma. Uh, after doing my MBA from Department of Management Sciences in University of Pune. Uh, that is where I got a foundation about how businesses use data for making decisions. And this really intuited me towards, uh, you know, getting into this particular field. Uh, <clears throat> once I got a job at Mio Sigma there, I was working with a, a company called as Walmart. Uh, I was there for about 3.5 years and that gave me an excellent opportunity and a base uh, to start off my career in this particular field. Uh, as you may know, Walmart is one of the largest retailers and have plenty of customers visiting its stores daily. So this gave me an opportunity to work hands-on on the large data set uh, involving real-world problems and having a high impact on the outcome. So this gave me a confidence about uh, <clears throat> taking forward my uh, skills to different organizations. And there, uh, there I started applying for jobs online. Uh, I used the portal like LinkedIn. I used the referrals that I have in my network. Uh, that I built during my uh, stay at Mu Sigma. And through one of the referrals, I got an opportunity to get interviewed at LinkedIn. Uh, the, the role that I was offered is called as, uh, you know, program manager, uh, data analytics uh, and insights. So the team here is responsible for giving insights about uh, the different products that we have. So I own one of the products and I'm responsible for carrying out end-to-end -end analysis about the usage, uh, the customers, the benefits, uh, all, all in all, like how this particular product that LinkedIn has created for the recruiters can help them uh, make better staffing decisions. Uh, so my day-to-day -day work revolves around creating models uh, in understanding, you know, who's likely to churn out, uh, who's the one who's uh, likely to renew your contract. So all of this analysis is what uh, I perform on my day-to-day -day basis. Uh, the interview process for uh, LinkedIn was very tough. Uh, I guess uh, in my career, I have given about 40, 45 interviews to land up a job. Uh, but the LinkedIn process was really difficult. Uh, here, they started off with the first round, which was a SQL round. Uh, um, because of my uh, skills at SQL, which I was pretty good with, uh, I was able to crack this. Uh, the second round was a manager round where he grilled me around the resume. So he asked me about different projects that I've done, uh, its impact, its likely improvement. Uh, so all of that scenario. Uh, the, the main objective of this particular uh, interview process was to understand how in depth I've gone to, uh, to complete any of the projects that I've mentioned on my resume. After that, there was another technical round. Uh, this time it involved, uh, understanding different, uh, data engineering tools as well, because, uh, as a data analyst, uh, sometimes you have to prepare your own data and having a good experience about creating an ETL pipeline, uh, understanding how the data flows, how, uh, how to work on Azure, how to work on. Uh, <clears throat> create pipelines using all tricks, et cetera. So that was the round where I was uh, grilled much more technically uh, on the data engineering side. Uh, after that, I was having another interview uh, with the, the, the senior manager in the team, and he was uh, much more inclined towards understanding my business orientation. Uh, so he asked me about uh, different use cases, business cases, and how would I go about approaching it? Uh, so after having all of these four rounds, there were a cultural treatment round, again, very important. I've seen people uh, doing extremely well in the technical rounds, but not able to crack the cultural treatment round. Uh, for this process, I was, um, uh, I had gone through all of the material that I could find on internet to understand the company's culture. What did they really stand for? What is their vision? And incorporated the same thing in my story when I was uh, being asked about certain scenarios in the life. Uh, so yeah, after having this four to five rounds, uh, extremely uh, grilled uh, process, I was selected uh, for the position of uh, insights and analytics program manager in, in the data analytics team. So that was my journey, um, uh, you know, in, uh, in how to get selected at LinkedIn. Uh, some of the tips that I'd like to share with all of you during this process was 
you know, like uh, uh, be very clear about the projects that you have mentioned in your resume. Um, this really helped me because it was not just uh, the technical part that they were looking into. They were also looking at the business implication. So if you have done any project in and out, uh, understand what is the base use case for it. Uh, how can we, uh, you know, implement it differently? And what are the different techniques you would have arrived uh, before coming to the final solution? So this entire journey, if this is very clear to you for any project, then only please mention it in your uh, in your resume or during the interview. Other than that, you cannot uh, speak about it because if you are having a half knowledge about any particular project, uh, that is easily uh, caught by the people who are in the industry for 20, 25 years. Uh, the next tip uh, for interview I like to give you is read about the company. Uh, read about the person who, are, who you are interviewing with. Uh, read about the, the pain points that he is going through or, you know, what are the vision for the company? What are they really, uh, why are they into the business and what are they trying to achieve? So having this clear understanding about, uh, you know, for example, in my case, how LinkedIn worked, uh, what is that they are looking to achieve? What is their vision statement? What is their mission statement was able to help me, you know, articulate my thoughts in a way that would resonate uh, with, the people, with the people in the company. So please, uh, you know, before preparing for interview, please go through their website, uh, please ensure that you know everything about uh, that you can find on internet. Uh, look at the industry they are in. Look at the space they are in. What are the challenges that they are facing? Uh, this really helps you understand well when you are uh, in the process of interview. One of the interview question on, on SQL was, uh, how do I find out the number of active users? Uh, may sound very simple at the first go, but it is very difficult uh, with the given data set. So I really cannot explain you in this video. Um, but it revolved around how to use Windows function how to use uh, SQL joins and how to, you know, uh, imagine a, a final output table and then do a backward integration on creating the query. Um, so yeah, this was, uh, this was my process at uh, LinkedIn. Uh, the salary expectations usually in the industry these days uh, for uh, analytics or uh, anyone in the, in the field of data science is about 5x their, uh, uh, 5x their, uh, their current experience. So if you have, uh, experience of about uh, five years, you could easily expect to get something around 25 lakhs as a package. Um, so yeah, that was my journey at uh, LinkedIn. How did I get there? Uh, I would also like to talk about one of the cool companies that I worked was uh, for Airbnb. Uh, I think uh, I was very fortunate enough to work with this company and some of the learnings that I had uh, at this company is what I'll take uh, probably throughout my life, not just in the field of analytics, but in the, as a part of life. Um, one of the, the uh, one of the best thing about uh, this particular company was uh, they believed in their mission statement more than uh, they would believe in their uh, technical capabilities. So ev every round, every step, every process that I had gone through in this particular company, they were very culturally oriented. Uh, they had a mission of making the world belong anywhere and they were very true to it during the entire process. Uh, you would find very friendly nature uh, interviewer. They would be very on top of you for following up on uh, on a particular task that, that they would have given. Um, and the kind of process they follow inside the company itself is, is very culturally oriented. Um, so to, you know, to crack this particular company, which was like my dream company at that time, uh, it is still my dream company, uh, was I actually write the entire book about the founder, uh, about their journey and everything I could. So uh, just as I got a call that I would be having the process, I started reading this book. I know this is very difficult to do if you are applying for many companies, but if there is one company that is like a dream to you, uh, you know, you should start reading about it because one day that opportunity may come and you should be prepared, you know, uh, about it. So this, uh, th there was this book called as Upwork uh, and I read everything about this company. This really helped me in understanding the current problems that they are facing. Um, what is the kind of a culture they expect? And you know, what is the kind of a role I, I would be playing? Um, so this particular exercise of reading the book, long route, uh, but it really helped me during the interview process. Uh, the work that I did was very impactful. Um, I think I joined the company just on the onset of COVID. Uh, and we were, uh, the company as a whole, were struggling to stay afloat. Uh, so that's where, you know, insights and analytics played a very crucial role. Uh, the role here we wanted to play was uh, give proactive insights than the reactive insights. Uh, by that, I mean is uh, find out the leading indicators about uh, where does the customer wants to travel? What is the kind of a property that they're looking for? How many days they would want to stay? Uh, when we did all of this analysis during uh, my time there, you know, uh, one of the projects I, I would like to talk about was 
uh, about understanding uh, you know what is the future uh, about uh, after covid uh, or probably during that particular time uh, we did not have enough booking data to rely on uh, so we had to use uh, something called as a visitors data uh, visitor data usually is like a uh, is just an indicator because uh, it does not give you a confirmation about uh, the real trend you know uh, so relying on this data to understand what the future could look like uh, was the first big step that we took uh, the insight that we got from that particular data was uh, you know we are seeing a pocket of location where people are extremely curious to visit so for example uh, there was a plenty of visit happening for a property in um, uh, blue mountains which is near sydney uh, airbnb traditionally had to supply in uh, top cities uh, but one of this location which is very off bit uh, we were seeing a lot of visitors coming in so when we analyzed this uh, this entire journey of a customer we realized that blue mountains is like a 2 hours drive from sydney and the people are really interested in uh, booking airbnb because of uh, its nature of not being an hotel and being a shared property so you know you get a, your privacy it is close by your home and uh, people cannot stop traveling you know that's the human nature uh, this trend was amplified by looking at other cities and geographies and we really understood the importance that people want to travel they want to travel soon and they want to travel very close uh, all of this was through uh, through data and the company started off with a campaign called as go near uh, once that campaign was rolled out you know the company got a breathing space of uh, getting their bookings back and they did so well that you know they were about to launch their ipo and now they are doing very well so a simple analysis about understanding the customer journey through the visitors data helped uh, us make some cr critical decision at that juncture of the company uh, moving on like how, how uh, like i said about the interview process uh, again uh, in this company i had about three rounds which were on the technical side and three rounds which were on the cultural fitment round uh, and to be frank the first three rounds were relatively simple because they were setting up the team in india for the first time uh, and i was like their first uh, hire in that particular team uh, so the process was uh, from the technical standpoint was pretty straight forward they asked me about sql uh, they asked me about data visualization they asked me about uh, the project that i have done and they asked me about how do i go about solving any particular problem so the first two rounds uh, was pretty much on the similar line uh the third round was uh, a case study round where we were given a problem statement uh we had to solve it and present it to the uh, to the stakeholders in united states uh so there and they would check us how would how is our presentation skills uh how is our uh, the delivery style uh how do we well present the story and how impactful is our presentation so that was the key area that they judged on uh so this was the first three round the first one was very technical uh, around sql tableau excel and python uh the second round was more on the business side where i was asked a lot about uh, how would i go about solving a particular problem and third one was a presentation on the case study that they gave uh then the next three rounds were again on the culture refitment round uh, they have their own committee which sit together and decide if you are culturally fit to be part of this particular company so they asked me a lot about how would i go about helping a person how can i be a better host uh, what is uh, certain things that i have done in life which uh which is which has been helpful to the people so these were the kind of questions that were asked uh during this culture of fitment round and frankly in my experience uh you know this was the most difficult part but my understanding that i got through reading a book like i mentioned earlier really helped me uh structure my thoughts in a particular way for answering this question um the the tips that i would like to share with all of you if you wish to join airbnb is uh you really need to be good as a person as first uh because everything starts with uh how how passionate you are about helping people uh, belong anywhere so you know uh, the core quality that they look at you is how good you are a host you know how how extra mile can you take in your life to help somebody who is in trouble so these this was a core basic of of uh, of the interview um so please uh, you know like there are certain things that you can talk about but uh, if you are a genuine person who have helped people along along your journey uh, this should not be difficult uh in terms of technical again uh, be very clear with uh, sql sql is the most important language if you are looking for the rules in data analytics or data science uh be clear with uh, how do you want to present your charts and uh, and analysis and having a good communication skill uh, really helps so again the salary expectation i would go with the simple formula uh is to multiply your experience into 5 so yeah that's uh, that's all i have uh, to share on both of my experience i hope you find uh, this useful all right that was that was extremely helpful and i'm sure that i'll 
our learners got some idea about how to get job into this esteemed organization. Thank you so much, Coach, for this worthwhile <laughs> session. And stay tuned, Thank everyone, you, for, for more sessions like this on a weekly basis. Thank you.